Okay then, morning coffee in hand. Valt Beckles SBC completed. A little bit delayed this one. I've been busy the past weekend, guys. But we're back now and it is time to review the six foot six beast. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team Coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. Now, who had this man's showdown card from last year? Last year or the year before? I honestly don't know. The absolute destroyer. It was roughly a similar price, it was like 300 k But this one, arguably is a little bit better on paper. 99 physicals, 97 shooting. Plays for Burnley, so back from loan. I didn't know this was a Burnley card, no fairness. I completed it blind. It's too early in the morning for me to realize what I was looking at. But power shot, rapid aerial, and the first touch on a man who's 6'6". He's also four star, five star. High, high work rates, which is interesting for a striker of his kind of size. But it could work out while him dropping a little bit deeper and linking up the play. Attribute wise, the finishing, this man should be disgusting in front of goal. 99 composure, 99 in every shooting stat that is basically crucial for uh, for finishing, right? Pace looks good. Vision, the link up play is there. 99 reactions, 98 ball control. The physicals, mate, what? The strength, the aggression, he can leap like a salmon and he's 6'6". Six, six. I should hopefully score a header or two if it comes to it. Obviously, the aerial threat, crazy right now, right? It is, it is the meta. Like, I guarantee in the pro tournament, I think coming up this weekend, or it might have been happening last weekend, actually, you're going to see this man a lot floating about the place, rivaling the likes of Haaland, Hosselu, for example. I'm almost positive. I don't know if you guys watch the pro stuff, but the pros are using Hosselu, the showdown card, at right back. That's how insane it is. So this man's going to get the use. He looks mental. Uh, yes, we've got base finesse, chip shot, power header, pink pass. Okay, my man links up the play. All right, no technical or quick steps. So is he going to feel clunky? We'll see, because 91 agility isn't bad, but the balance been a little bit low. Rapid plus is big. He should feel powerful on the stride. First touch as well should help, especially on the bigger players. And then, of course, aerial power shot, flick up volley season. The exact price tag is 381k. A little bit premium, you could say. Considering he was a 95, he's already secured one upgrade. And of course, they play England in the semi-final. And honestly, that could go either way. The way England have been playing, the way Netherlands have been playing, anyone could turn up on the day. So potential upgrades are definitely there. Engine chem is what I'm going to give him. Let's get him up front and let's do it. Zinedine, little dink. Killian. Just play it to his feet. Let's just start try and bounce our way through people. Okay, he's a bulldozer. He's an app. What is going on? There's no way he's still got a ball there, okay? He eventually gets dispossessed, but um, he's giving me vibes of like pure jam on toast, you know? Like, he's keeping the ball. Bakayo picks Veg. Okay, yeah, now this man's moving much better than I expected. Like, he's obviously got that powerful step over, but just the controlled sprint isn't bad with the engine chem style, especially for a man who's 6'6". I mean, that's just tidy, isn't it? Use him as that little guy, flick up ball, nod it down, link up the play around him, and that celebration is uh, is comedy. Decent little finish as well. Brace on his debut. Let's keep it going. Well, in Tony. After Zico. Fizzle that to the big boy. One touch. Step over. Let's go. That's it. Stride. Let's go for the power shot for distance. Screw it. Back in the net. Happy days. This man is going to be dangerous. Like You're getting Haaland S vibes. All the seriously annoying meta aerial threat players kind of combined into a slightly more silky, more agile, quicker version. Brucey boy. Bukayo. That'll do. Are we on side? Oh, we're off. Okay. Oh, that would have been the quit as well. He's paused it. Is he going to leave anyway? That's what Vegas does. Now, one thing I will say in regards to like aerial threat meta, if you watch my videos, you know I don't really use it. I don't tend to you know, prioritize. I've got Haaland on the bench, for example. I like using more agile, quicker players, keeping it on the floor. You know, that's how I like to play. But even if you don't want to use the aerial meta, it's nice to have it in the locker occasionally. So Vegas is the kind of card that's kind of giving me vibes that you don't need to utilize the crazy hype, but you can if you want to. But he's still capable of moving fast on the ball and obviously scoring goals. So let's see if it continues with the game number three of foot champions. Let's do it. It's counter attack time. 
High high work race does mean he tends to sit a little bit deep, even as it get in behind striker. But then once he's gone, he's bombing forward. Let's go about. Let's hit it from that angle. Why not? I mean, I don't know how close that was, but it looked decent. Oh, but Kayo pickpocket. Vega a little bit deeper, but arriving deep is not an issue, my son. And there's the goal. As easy as that. Control sprint feels in control and reasonably fast. And the finish him. Crazy. Look at Vega in the middle. One touch. It's as easy as that with the man. All right, you take a touch. First touch to his feet. Turn, step over, run, power shot, goal. Oh, we're 3-0 in champs this morning. It couldn't be going any better. Oh, no. 1-0 down in this one. Okay. 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 No, we're not going to get carried away. Two minutes in. It's one of those games. The floodgates will come back in my direction. Movement is good from Berg. Speed. Just couldn't have the legs. Didn't quite have the legs that time to get around Danso. He was reasonably fast himself, to be fair. Uh, I kid you not. My opponent switched this ball five times in a row. Give me the damn ball. Beg. Punish him now. Make it, lad. In the middle. Mbappe. Let's go. Gets us one back. This is to Beg. One touch. Step over. On your bike now. Danso just want to hold him up, but he's don't want to keep it in. Oh. Tell you what, unlucky, unlucky. Trying to turn into the link up player there with a floating through ball. Hey, is it a team with a controlled sprint? Come on. It's huge from Ronald, you know. Oh, it's beautiful. Little stat pad getting sweaty, getting ratty. 2 0 down. Oh, no, no. 3 2 now. Let's go. Oh, we'll have that. Like, seriously, this controlled sprint, really, really nice. Especially for the bigger players. There goes some movement there. Oh, the footwork. Hold up. I don't mind him being high, high work rates because the link up play. While and truly is there. Keep a movement. Fair play. Zidane at the Killian. Hold up plays there. Veg has pointed where he wants it and he's gone. Oh, and he scored that as well. Yes! Flick up volleys there. I'm almost positive that might have been a red time. I definitely wasn't agreed. So that puts me in a good stead with these flick ups, man. Danso struggling to get his leg around it. And Valt Veghorst just dispatches it in the top bins. Come on. The big boy can move, you know. He doesn't need to be in the box for these whip balls. Take you out on the edge. Little green time Travella. Oh, it's just unbelievably beautiful. And there's no way Bakayo's not scored that. I'll tell you what, who will though? Veg will. Veg will. That little flick up header, by the way, for the through ball. Unbelievable, man. Like, honestly, these high, high work rates might not be for everybody. But I think it kind of suits the big, big player. Because it just gives you, like, variety. You can overlap and get in behind if you want to. You can set him to get in behind on custom tactics as well. Uh, just to make sure he does. But the hold at play is there and it is strong. So 370k is a fair chunk of change. So, you know, it's a lot, a lot, you might be hesitant to commit this SBC. And it's understandable. But I can reassure you, if you've used Hosselu's, Haaland. I mean, if you've got team of the season Haaland, maybe you don't need Valt course, But variety is important on FIFA. So mixing up could be the shout here. If you've used the bigger aerial threat players... This man is undoubtedly the guy for you. Because he's that kind of meta, seriously aerial, tall bulldozer. But he can move on the ball as well. Finishing is just the joke. That red time flick up volley we scored was crazy. Linking up the play as well. The nod downs, the flick ons, really, really nice. The physicals. He's got speed. Step overs and you're flying with the boy. Now one thing I will say, the card is available I think for 12 days. So you can hang fire. England play Netherlands Wednesday at 8pm. You don't need to commit yet. I probably would save you yet to do it. Hang fire at least a couple of days. See how they get on. If they do beat England, get to the final. The upgrade potential is going to keep going. You know, it's going to keep going and make him even more worth it, in my opinion. But right now, he's unbelievable. Cracking card, scores goals for fun, and just dominates everybody around him. Look at that. 11 goal contribution to the four matches. Solid performance from Vout. I'm going to finish my foot champs of him leading the line. Let me know what you think down below, guys. 
and I am back. Content will resume normal time, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. most days. So enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you later.